G'day guys. Today I'm going to show you a brand new strategy that I've been working on for the last couple of weeks. While doing my research, I've noticed that a lot of strategies that are posted online are all concerned about trying to avoid the losses. Now, I think if you're trying to avoid losses in roulette, then you're already playing the wrong game. Fundamentally, the house always has an edge. So if we're prioritizing getting small losses, then we're not focusing on getting big wins. This strategy takes a whole new approach. By allowing yourself a little bit of extra risk, we can actually put some more money down in the hopes of getting a huge win, which will cover all of those small losses previously. Now, not only am I gonna give you the step-by-step -step guide on how you can use this strategy, I'm also gonna go into an in-depth explanation about the maths and the probability of success. But before we get into that, I've gotta have a word with you guys. I started this channel only six months ago and we're nearly at 3,000 subscribers. It's utterly blown me away that there are that many people that want to pay attention to these videos, that are eager to learn more about roulette. And it's kind of saddened me how little there is in this space with truthful people telling you how you can actually win. I've done a lot of thinking about how I want to grow this channel in the future, and I'm going to put my whole heart into creating a transparent and open betting channel for you guys to learn from. As always, before showing any strategy, I do have to let you guys know that no matter what strategy you're using, the house always has an edge. No matter what strategy you use, it's not going to suddenly be able to magically make the game profitable. If you play for long enough, you will lose money and the house will get even. The trick to making money at roulette, or any casino game for that matter, is to try and play for the shortest duration possible, get a little bit of wins, and then cash out before the casino can catch up to you. All right, with that out of the way, let's get into the strategy. All right, guys. So I'm gonna give you the step-by-step -step guide on how you can actually use this strategy yourself. Now, the first thing we need to do before we can actually start placing any bets is we need to decide what our betting unit is gonna be. So you can see down here, I've got a balance of $200. So for me, I'm going to choose a betting unit of $10. Now, this is probably a little bit higher than what I would actually use in the casino. I'd probably go with a $5 bet unit with a $200 bankroll, but I think for the purposes of the video, it'll make a better demonstration. So now that we've chosen what our betting unit is gonna be, we can actually go on to the first step, and that's waiting for our entry trigger. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab a small bet, so like for me, a $1 bet, and I'm just gonna place it on red or black, and then we're just gonna pay attention to where the ball lands. Now, if you were at an in-person casino, you could just stand to the side and watch the wheel. You wouldn't actually have to place a bet, but they don't allow that here, so I don't mind spending $1 just to, just to pay attention and see what the result's gonna be. So we get an 11. Now, unfortunately, that's not one of our trigger numbers. The trigger numbers we're looking for are 13 to 18 or zero. So there's seven total numbers that if hit, that will trigger the start of the system. So I'm just gonna keep putting $1 on black and I'm just gonna keep spinning until one of those seven numbers shows up. All right, so there we go. We've just hit a 16. That is the start of our entry trigger. We can now go on to the next step of the system. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to what our betting unit was. So for me, that's that $10. And we're gonna place a two unit bet on this 19 to 36. So that's $20. And I'm gonna just spin. And what we're hoping for is to land in these high numbers. So we get the 27. That's a great, that's a great result. And that's gonna happen about, you know, half the time. From here, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna let it ride. So we're gonna double that and we're gonna put all of our winnings from the previous spin back on that 19 to 36. So this will give us a huge profit if we do manage to win it. It'll probably only happen about 25% of the time. Unfortunately, it didn't happen there, but that's all right. So what we do is we go back to waiting for our entry trigger. So this system relies on, you know, it, it can withstand several losses in a row because it's designed to get a significant win when it does work. And that will cover multiple losses in a row. So you'll see what I mean in just a minute and you'll see how it kind of sets itself up. But I'm going to go back to spinning and I'll come back to you guys when we get another one of our entry triggers. All right, so there we go. We've just hit 16. That's another one of our entry triggers. So we go back to that next step. We grab our 10 unit bet or our $10 bet and we place two units on high and we spin again. And if we're lucky, we should get one of those high numbers. 
unfortunately not. So that means we have to go back to waiting for our entry trigger. So once again, I'm just going to keep spinning. Unfortunately, this is the reality of roulette sometimes. There we are. There's a 14. It didn't take too long that time. So we're going to go back to the second step. We're going to then place our two unit bet on high, spin again, cross our fingers, hope for the best. We don't get it. Once again, I'm going to go back, just keep spinning and don't get greedy. Wait for those entries and just hopefully it'll work. 18. Once again, didn't take very long that time. So we're going to start again. We go two units on our high. We are, we're down to nearly a hundred dollar bankroll. So we're getting near, we're getting near our halfway point. So if we don't manage to get something soon, then I don't think it's going to be looking good, but we hit the low. So I'm just going to go back to spinning. Hopefully I can get something good to show you guys the next couple steps. There we go. There's another 18. So we're going to start again. We're going to place two units there. If this wins, we're going to then place four units. So there we go. There's the first win. We're going to then let it ride. We chuck it back up to 40 and we're going to go again. Now I've gotten a little bit unlucky here, but you should manage to get past this stage about a quarter of the time. So there we go. We actually win. Now is when the st strategy really starts to kick into gear. Whereas before we only had, you know, about a half, half a chance of winning, we're going to actually change our bet now so that we're more likely to start to win. So we're going to go back to our 10 units. And what we're going to do is we're going to place three units here on this first 12. And then we're going to place five units back on the high. So that'll use up all of our eight units that we've just won. But this time it's only these 13 to 18 and the zero that will actually suffer a loss on. So I'm going to spin here and depending on which one happens, the outcome does change a little bit. So here we go. We hit the first 12. If we hit the first 12, we manage to get a profit of one unit. If we hit this, you know, this high numbers, we actually get a profit of two units. And that's what we're aiming for. We want two units of profit from this stage. So if we do hit that first 12, what we're actually going to do is we're going to rebet and just spin again and hope that either one of these, you know, we got an 81% chance. There we go. We managed to get a profit of two units that time. So now we've got three units. So we've actually got a little bit more than what we need, which, you know, no one complains with extra money. But now that we've done that, we can go to the next step. And that's actually to increase the betting units here or bet amounts here. So what we're going to do is we're going to place four units on this first 12 and then we place six units on high. So once again, this is all the 10 units that we've just won from before. But now if either one of these hit, we're going to profit two units regardless. And that's what we need. So cross our fingers. There we go. So this is the key of the strategy here. We've now reached the point where, you know, the, our seven numbers haven't been hit in the last couple of spins. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose our $10 and we're actually going to place our bets like this. We go one unit on zero, one unit on this double street. We then go four units on this second 12 and then six units on low, not the high. So this is where we actually switch it up. Now, the reason for this is that if any one of these numbers is four to 12 or this 19 to 24 hits, so two thirds of the board, we actually get enough money that we can rebet again without actually suffering any losses. However, if this one hits, we manage to walk away with a profit of $90. If this one hits, it's something like $120, $130. So essentially what we're doing is we're setting this board up so that hopefully we get a couple whacks nice in those high sections so that when we reach this point, we're ready to get some whacks or not some whacks, some hits down in this low section. So I'm just going to spin here and if we're lucky, we'll hit one of our one of our seven lucky numbers. 15. Boom. There we go. There we go. So that's a perfect example. You can see here we now have four hundred and seven dollars. So that's that's quite substantial. You can see, you know, that's that's where you walk away. Honestly, I'm I'm really happy with that already. And if if this was me at a casino, this is the time when you cash out. So you can see we got, you know, 10 losses, 11 losses in a row, you know, something like I think it was actually six losses in a row. But 
we managed to get there in the end and we could have actually withstood a lot more losses we could have started with a $350 bankroll and suffered a lot more losses and then still gotten back you know to this $400 limit and still walked away a winner so that's the steps on how you can actually use this strategy it should work for any type of roulette I personally always have done it on European roulette because that gives you the best odds if you're on American roulette the only difference is instead of betting straight up on zero you'll have to bet split on the zero zero and that's going to change your odds a little bit and lower the payouts a little bit but it should actually make it a little bit more likely because you have eight lucky numbers instead of just the seven but if you are looking for an online casino where you can play roulette I can highly recommend this Katsu bet. I've also used 7-bit in the past and I've used BitStars. There's a couple different ones. There's a couple different, you know, pros and cons to each one. But if you're interested, I'll leave a link to them down in the description and if you sign up using that one, you get an even bigger sign up bonus. Okay, so now you've actually seen the system in action, I want to go a little bit into the probabilities and how I've actually calculated the odds behind this system. So in order to do that, I've actually written up a full document that contains a step-by-step -step guide as the strategy, as well as goes through how I've calculated the probability to each step. So if you're interested in the full document, I'll leave a link to it down below so you can give it a read, but I'm gonna go through it just quickly now so that you can get a brief overview. Essentially, to calculate the actual odds of success of this strategy, we can take the odds of success of each independent event and then multiply them together to find the chance of them all happening in a row so that we actually win our final amount. So for the first couple stages, it's pretty explanatory because the odds are that either it hits or it doesn't hit. We either win or we don't win. There's no other odds aside from that. So it's simply the amount of winning spaces over the total amount of spaces. So that's, that's the probability for each one of those stages. Next, the probability for step three, where there's the one of two outcomes, either we hit the first 12 and then have to repeat the bet, or we hit that last, those high numbers and we don't have to repeat. There's a couple different, you know, there's the odds of that happening or the odds of the second case. So we can calculate both of those independently, add them together, and we can get the total chance of success of that stage is about 74.9%. Now calculating the odds of the final stage is actually where it gets a little bit harder because technically there's a series of events where we could just have to rebet forever and ever and ever. It could just always land on one of those numbers and we'll have to rebet a hundred times. But the odds of that actually happening get slimmer and slimmer and slimmer each time that we're required to land in a row. So we can actually use this summation notation here and this basically says that for each one we're going to add up the probability of each event occurring. So if it happens once, if it happens twice, if it happens three times in a row, we're gonna take all of those probabilities and then we're just gonna add them up together and that's how we get our final result. So doing that, we can estimate this chance of success of finally reaching one of those numbers is about 34.8%. Now, the thing with this is when we go through and we actually have a look at the expected value of the strategy, we do get a negative number. And if you're familiar with how I've said in the beginning, there is no strategy that can get this number to be positive. Anyone that says that, they're either very bad at mathematics or they're lying to you to try and deceive you. So because of that, what we can do is we can actually alter the strategy to improve the profitability a little bit further. And while it is gambler's fallacy-esque, I've noticed that it seems to actually improve my odds substantially more than just randomness. So, and that's, that's why we implement that start trigger. That's why we're waiting for that 13 to 18 or the zero to hit first before we begin our bets. That way we're less likely, you know, to start betting and then it happens directly after on the second or third spin because, you know, the chances of it landing, you know, twice in a row is way more slim than it landing once, something else happening for a while and then it hitting again you know, maybe six, seven spins later when we've got our numbers set up on our Magic 7. So I hope that sort of helps explain it a little bit better. If you are interested and, you know, I'd be very happy if you guys have any feedback on this document, I really want to try and show you guys the honest and truth about these strategies. And I want to lie to you guys and say that, you know, they're infinitely profitable and that you're going to make a thousand million dollars just, you know, sitting down for 10 minutes because... That's, that's not the reality of these games we play. If you can learn the maths, if you can learn how these systems work, then we can learn to play more effectively and hopefully earn a little bit more. 
But that's all that I've got for you guys today. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me and we're so, so close to 3,000 subscribers. So if you want to be part of this community while it's still young, before we manage to grow up and blow up into the, into the stratosphere, then I highly encourage you to join. I've got a couple big things that are coming to this channel and a couple changes that I want to make. I want to get away from the clickbait. I don't, I don't want to be, you know, another one of those YouTubers that's just lying to you guys and I want I want to teach you guys real strategy I want to teach you guys the mathematics behind it but no one clicks on a video about mathematics that's that's the sad reality but I appreciate you for watching all the way to the end if you have made it this far you're an absolute legend and I love you so look after yourself I hope that you've managed to use this strategy to your advantage if you do leave a comment down below and let me know but other than that good luck out there guys cheers